Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So not long ago, Lego invited me to go and visit the Duplo factory and answer the question that I get asked more than anything else, and that is, how is Lego made? They took me on a bit of a tour and not only did I see Duplo bricks being made, but I also saw them being decorated and put together. This year, the Little Big Brick celebrates its 50th birthday, so I've come to Nierehichata, Hungary, to take a sneak peek inside the Lego Duplo factory. I was there filming for Lego, so this video is made up of snapshots that I was able to take on my camera as we walked around, and that's why some bits are going to look like this, and others like this. Right, got it? Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Lego bricks begin like this, as small plastic granules. They're made of a type of plastic called ABS, or acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, but the long name really doesn't matter. All we need to know is that ABS makes sure that Lego is strong, hard, and shiny, which is great because it lasts a long time and we can play with it again and again and again. In fact, we've actually, hang on a second, we've got some Lego here in our house, which is probably more than 25 years old. Say hello to the spaceman. <laughs> when it's time for the granules to be turned into bricks, they get sucked into the factory and travel through this maze of metal pipework until they get to these awesome green machines. Here the granules get mixed with colourful pellets. This is what's going to give the brick its colour. But how does it work? This is a plastic injection moulding machine and it's where those granules are heated and melted into a plastic goo and that goo is pushed into a mold and that's what makes a duplo brick the goo is quickly cooled down and the brick pops out but let's see that again in slow motion because it happens really quickly in fact this whole process of molding and cooling only takes about 10 seconds each machine has a different mold inside to make different types of bricks. So this machine is making blue Duplo bricks. This mold makes hard hats for a Duplo figure. This one's making black hats. And here we've got lots and lots of tires. Fun fact, Lego are the largest manufacturer of tires in the whole world. They're just, they're just really small. Some of the plastic injection moulding machines work a little bit differently, and instead of the moulds opening up and the bricks just falling onto the conveyor belt below, instead a robot arm will gently take them out of the mould and place it onto the conveyor belt before it goes down a slide into a box at the end of the machine. But where does this box go? Once the bricks have been moulded, they get put in a crate and then loaded onto this conveyor belt that goes up the helter skelter and then they go on to decorating and assembly. So we follow the boxes to the decorating department. Some of the bricks get decorated with a method called tempo printing and it works a little bit like a stamp. As you can see from this poor bare-faced cat here, he needs a face. A worker at the factory will place the bricks, or the Duplo cats, onto a decorating machine. And then they get whizzed around under the tempo stamps. Each time the machine stamps the brick, it picks up a different colour. First the grey goes on, then the black outlines. This next machine is all set up to decorate a Duplo figure's face. First the white goes on, then the blue eyes, the brown eyebrows, and the black outlines. Here they come! Last but not least, let's go and see how some of the Duplo pieces are put together. This is a robotic assembly line where lots of robots put parts together to make Duplo figures. All of the pieces needed for the Duplo figure are placed around the assembly line and are fed into machines up these ramps. Here we've got faces, some hats and blue legs. Robotic arms work together lifting different pieces onto the assembly line, so as the figure moves along it, it gets a different body part each time. First, the arms are put in place. Those are the legs, and here is the body being put on top. Now the body needs a head, and look, you can see the decoration on the face. On top of the head, we get a green hat. And then the arms are lifted into the body, and all of the pieces get a little push to snap them together. The feet are put in front of the figure, and then the whole body is lifted onto them. And just to make sure everything is secure, the robot arms give the figure a little pull. 
and finally they get placed onto a conveyor belt. They slide into a box ready to go to the next part of the factory where they'll be packed up and sent to shops all over the world. And there you go, that is how a Lego brick is made, but also how Duplo can be decorated and assembled. Let me know in the comments down below which of those was your favourite part to see. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay curious and I'll see you soon. Bye.